that that's over with. Get it while I can. Thanks for the help. Come on over here and have a word. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. And maybe she thought... Uh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Erend. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, They'll be sorry, too. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight, at least. Don't get used to it. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No. But it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They'd been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. So come all the way out here. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. This is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy like artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. Someone move a body through here. What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something, like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here and scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out.
I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? machines. Get ready. Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Those rocks, they're shattered. 
Something hit these stones. Something I've never seen before. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. But why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut, as if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Can't be too prepared. Keep that for later. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. I look 
said there was a scuffle here, but no body. If someone dragged Nassan off, there should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. The Shadow Carja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside. Cut deep! I'm done! <laughs> Am I Not yet? <laughs> supplies. Lucky. Got in a sauna, right? He needs help. Five. 
Kindiv sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. up. Kindiv told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. Saving these for the trail? Probably needed the wash. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. I'll find a use for you.
is Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again? Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be aware, man. Make us end this crawling with eclipse troops. To help you deal with it, I've left some useful equipment just outside the walls. Your focus will shoot the location. those to use. Why are you doing this? because I want you to succeed. Good afternoon. We'll talk later. Wait! Damn him. Let's do here.
from melted snow. explosion. Deathbringers Olin talked about. I knew. I'll never get into that tower. I'll never get into that tower. Stop working. I've disabled his focus. This is empty. I'll handle it. Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak points. Thing really hurt it. Tend to scan. Dr. 
355,510 days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Fair. Please proceed to the 35th room. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Calls use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor, upload the latest service pack update, and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to black quartz standard. Your words. Look. If you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Faro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines when they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Another cave in. But I could get through.
Looks like the way up. What's left of it? The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's done. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package, designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. No space. People were angry at Faro, at the corporation. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Maybe a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. Plants can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. Unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Timor Energy Combine. Now, I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, can absolutely assure you 
is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And the day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Already. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up to something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another fire has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. 
The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express left open. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. That's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence. You've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobek. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. 
What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. A common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... Complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. 
Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least.